What has four legs, perfectly groomed fur, and is even more fun than playing fetch? The National Dog Show, of course. Now, insiders may be placing bets for the show, but for all of us spectators at home, the show itself is just so much fun. I love watching it every year, and it airs right here on CARE on Thanksgiving Day. So now we have a preview with two of the human stars of the National Dog Show, host John O'Hurley and expert <coughs> analyst David Fry. Thanks for being with us, guys. How nice to be with you. Thanks for the invitation. Thank you. It is such an awesome tradition on Thanksgiving. You know, you're eating, your stomach's full, you're watching the dog show, and it's so nice to know that at least one thing is normal. Uh, I'll start with you, John. How are you guys making it happen this year? Well, it's going to be the same show, basically. Uh, we have uh, had a couple of protocol changes. We'll be masking both the handlers and the judges, a little bit of social distancing as well. We don't have a live audience. So aside from that, you're going to see the same show that you see uh, every year. Now, this is our 19th year. But this uh, also, uh, there is one little thing that we've done this year. Because we have to have fewer dogs, fewer people, according to regulations, um, we're only inviting champions of their breeds. So these are the best of the best. So we've raised the bar of excellence quite high this year, and we think that's gonna show up in one of the best shows that we have ever done on television. David, are there any favorites for best in show? Who are you gonna be keeping an eye out for? Well, we think we have a lot of the top dogs in the country, a lot of the dogs that are top dogs in their breed, a lot of dogs that are in the top 20 in competition. So. It, it, every day is a new day in the dog show world. So we know who the dogs are that have been doing some winning, but when you put them all together in one place, it's going to come down to who's the dog of the day. And that's, that's part of the excitement. The competition is going to look exactly the same to people at home. Um, and, and we think that we will have a great winner out of all of this. So Last that's what makes it fun and exciting just as always. Last year, I think a bulldog named Thor was the winner. Is that right? That's right, and quite a surprise, uh, and 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 nobody more the to, to to Thor. Thor was probably the most surprised, uh, but yeah, he's just an example of excellence in breeding uh, and a dog that just showed up on his day. What are you guys looking forward to this Thanksgiving? Like I said, this is so great to just have this one little piece of normalcy for us. What are you guys looking forward to most this year? Well, I'll speak first, and I'll say that it's the first year in 19 years that I've actually been able to spend Thanksgiving dinner at home with my family. I've always been in either New York or Philadelphia uh, with both the show and the post-production of the show. Uh, so this is going to be a wonderful chance for me to spend it right here at home, right parked in front of this fire. <laughs> all right. Well, we've all learned how to do things from Zoom. Here's Thank what you. I've got going. Oh, how cute is he? Who's or she? I'm sorry. Who is your dog? This, this is True Dad. She, our 10-month-old Cavalier puppy. Oh, Scene Steeler, John and I know that uh, well. We, we admit freely that we're not really the stars of this. The dogs are the stars. And, and now in my family, I'm going to be able to have the stars having Thanksgiving dinner with me. So uh, that's the exciting part of it, too, for all of us. Well, so sweet. My mutt will watch at home to see the best in breed, and I'll be watching with her. Thank you so much, John O'Hurley and David Fry. The National Dog Show airs right here on CARE 11 on Thanksgiving, starting at 11. That's right after the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade.